obviously with our with our partnership between um, Lego Technic and the Blumont Virtual Series. I think myself and, and, and a couple of your guys were thinking about, wouldn't it be great if we could design the trophy? Go for it, but no, there was kind of some specifics in there because obviously we want to make sure that if, you, if you're thinking about that, that moment of celebration, you don't want to lift a trophy and then it all falls apart, can't pour the champagne in it, you know, you've got to think about these things, but also how to represent Lego Technic, because Technic is a different build process to what we call Lego system in play with the, with the, with the bricks. So yeah, my kind of design brief to you is how do we represent Technic in the model to show that it is Technic as the as the partner with with Le Mans and that's kind of the, the starting it, point, isn't it? And yeah, then we exactly. have a few conversations make it, to see where we get to. Make it look interesting, make it look different. Yeah. Incorporating that and still be structurally sound. So I know when um, uh, the I guess proposition was to me, it's like we need to create something. Then it was a matter of okay, what can we do that's related to racing as well. So there was a couple of ideas I threw around in my head. So maybe this, maybe they do a bit of sketching. So then that's where I thought the checkered flag the black and white checkered flag. I thought, how can we incorporate that? Do we do a wall or something like that? And so that's when I kind of did, what if we do a structure that's straight up that still looks like a checkered flag, but it's made of Technic, um, and then add on the pieces to that. So I think, I think I put that idea to you first. It's like, what do you think of something like that? And you go, yep, yeah, sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Let's see something. And then my first thing is I do is a sketch, um, which I know, which is basically like that. <laughs> So I just do a pencil sketch of roughly what I'm thinking of, which then went to Andrea. I was like, this is what we're thinking of. This is something interesting. And I know when you saw that, yes, that looks good. Yeah. Um, so from that, it's made of then working out how can I structurally make this? How can it physically go together? Because it's one thing just drawing a picture, then working out how that actually can connect. Because it's crossing those two with Lego systems and technique um, is to make it so it's solid and it's be able to pick up, as you said, that you can physically pick it up. You can, it, it's not something that's delicate. We have yeah, to put it down. Yeah, you want people to celebrate with exactly. it as well. You don't want people to be scared, yeah. <laughs> scared of it. Um, yeah. And, and it translates when you see it, you go, okay, it's racing. And that's where I wanted to put some type of element, whether it's a wheel or something like that as well, which is why we come up with the wheel in it as well. So, come up, so I think the, the next thing I did was then go into some of my digital programs, grab different Technic parts and work out what things look like from, you know, okay, well, does that look like this? Does that look like that? And then grabbing different bits and having a play with them. So digitally started working out different concepts and then how that can actually go together. And then when I found these panels, which is like the black and white panels on here, which are actually from the Porsche, which I lifted up here. Ugh, I know the black panel here is actually from the, um, the dashboard here. And then the white panel, which is here, is from the side. So using the actual panels from the race cars incorporates into it, which is even more of a tie-in as yeah. well, which works out really well. Yeah. So then it was a matter of trying to work out how we can get from this sketch to the actual um, finished model. And that's why I have um, Emily who works with me, who basically then takes all the structure. And the way we actually did this, and probably a lot of people go, how do these connect on? And so what it actually is through the middle of it is an actual, uh, I guess you could say, system bricks core with Technic bricks in it. So as it comes up to a certain height, there's Technic bricks that then the Technic pins go in and the panels then attached to it. And that's what these so, little, little pieces yeah. are, the, the, the so Technic these, pins. Yeah, exactly. So these little pins here, well, I can take this one off. Well, you can see them in the yeah. toner oh, down I'll here I'll take as this well. off. You can see there's actually a core here with the pins. So you can see there, so basically these, we actually use non-friction, um, the friction pins actually. And so sitting in the actual Technic bricks and then this can then connect on with uh, like that. So then it holds the whole thing together. So the actual core is quite solid. And then adding the, the Technic onto it gets the Technic look and the, the creative of it as well. And then adding different things like the wheel. Because yeah, we still liked that wheel idea. Exactly, I, I we think, wanted to incorporate the wheel somehow. Like Technic wheels are 
well, quite unique. And people get quite excited. <laughs> yeah, people get quite excited. You see the day Daytona's got the, the kind of silver ones. You've yep. got the Sean with the with, yep. the with the unimaginable gold <laughs> gold rims yeah. as well. And so well, yeah, we, we can change the, the colours yeah. for the different. Um, so that, different this is flavors. the same, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yep. So it's the same wheel, just a different colour. Yeah. So instead of using the the black wheel, we thought we'd go with the yellow, keep in tie with the actual branding as well. So that worked really well. Now, that was fun trying to connect that because you can see it's actually, I think it's five, is it? Uh, no, six um, Technic uh, holes had to try and connect to system and, and sit upright as well. Mm. Yeah. Turn it as well you can see the back of it. Connecting to, which obviously isn't a natural, no. a natural connection <laughs> to it as well. But then also we, yeah, trying to differentiate with the colour of the wheel so that um, first, second and third place had something slightly different and then the first place was bigger a lot as well. yeah a lot taller yeah um just to obviously feel slightly more special that yeah you had it. <laughs> well the base is a lot higher for the the first place as well yeah. and then when i had the wheel on there it just looked a bit empty and i thought what else can we do to give it a bit of i don't know um uh, interest i guess um, and that's why using these panels which are actually just on a um a technic pin which are from uh, actually they're in both of these aren't they yeah on... so on the front here and, yep, and here as well. So these are exactly the same panels. Yeah, like, we, when we design a model, we want to make sure that you can actually physically build Like, this one is not glued, but it still holds together. Um, we don't cheat. We don't, like, okay, let's just glue things together so it stays in place. We make it so anyone who had the same part could build the exact the same model. Um, of course, you need the part to know how it's actually built, but we do everything so it actually works. Um, for, because it has to travel, it has to move around, people have to pick it up. Yes, we actually do glue it all together so it doesn't, with the, with the weight of it, if you turn it sideways, it will probably like crack there and, and come apart. You could put it back together again, um, but that's the last thing you, you want when you're handing it over to someone. <laughs> Well, this one, because what we tried to do first, we actually built a test one without gluing it. So we, like this one here, this is actually all put together. So, okay, we can see where the weak points are. So we can actually tell, okay, this needs to be more solid or the way we connect this has to be a better connection um, or if it's too weak a connection, then how can we reinforce it? So physically building it first allows that. Then once we have that, we can adjust the digital file a little bit to make sure we know, and then we actually build it from the ground up and glue it as we go. Um, build your own. Yeah, that's the You know, is. build your own trophy. Yeah. Do how, however you want. Get, build whilst Get you're watching the race. That's, that's kind of the well, best what, bit. What Get does creative. racing mean to you? What does, you know, what do you build like your, about it? Yeah, yeah, build your dream car out of it. Build the stadium, build the winning post. It's, there's so much imagination that you can do with it. Obviously, not just with the the technic pieces, but mm. with the with the core Everything. core bricks as well. So, build your own. Yeah, basically. Let, let me know, and then <laughs> I'll make it happen. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's the challenge. Is actually like we've done the trophy here, but inspiring other people then to build their own version of the trophy. It doesn't have to be the same as this, but it can be different techniques we've used in this, which you'll see in the building of it. Um, to create your own version, whether it's smaller, bigger, but your own version, basically. Yeah, when we were watching the last series, my son was building his own cars whilst we were whilst we were watching it, and I thought that was that was pretty That's crazy. Cool. Some of the the extra pieces he added to the car didn't quite make it very aerodynamic, but <laughs> thought it was thought it was brilliant what he was doing whilst we were watching the watching the races as well. So, yeah, get creative. <laughs>